Hello, today I will show you why and how you use your username and password that will be allocated to you today in this class. Um, you have a username and sometimes it's called a login and also a password given to you on a label. You will need your username and the password so that you can access the Pierce College Network. Pierce College Moodle, Pierce College Gmail, and all print photocopy facilities within the college. Now, your Pierce College network is uh, access to all the computer networks and all the computers within Pierce College. The computers are found in the library, in the study resource room, and also in um, certain computer classrooms. You will not be able to log on to those computers unless you have a username login or a pal and a password. You will also need your username login and a password for the, to access the Pierce College Moodle site. You will find various teaching and learning facilities on the Pierce College Moodle site, plus a lot of other information of, that you may need during your time in Pierce College. Um, you will also need the username and login to access the Pierce College Gmail. You may already have a Hotmail account or a Gmail account, but we will encourage all students when they wish to correspond with their tutors or other students within the college to use either Moodle or the Pierce College Gmail. You will have a certain amount of uh, funds on your print and photocopying facilities within Pierce College, but you will not be able to access them unless you have a username, login and a password. Many of you will be re required to print off assignments and also to photocopy certain notes in the library and therefore will need to have your username and your password. Okay, just to help you to remember your username and login, I will explain to you how we have devised your particular username. The first part of your username will be the course code that you are now enrolled in. For instance, if you are in the university access course, your code will be UAC. There is a different code for every single course in Pierce College. For instance, if you're in the soccer course, there are a number of different soccer courses. So if you're in soccer coaching, your course will be SOCC. You will see on the label given to you what that course code is. The next part of your username login will state the academic year. If it is the academic year 2015 to 2016, then your number will be 1516. And the last part of your user code, our login, is the number that you are in the class. So that could be 001, up to, if there's 25 people in your class, 025. For example, this person, this student's individual username login is made up of the course code, UAC, academic year, 1516, and the number 001. Please note that your course code when you log in will be lowercase. So UAC 1516001. You will also be allocated an individual password. Please keep this password private. Do not share this password with anybody else in the class. The password is made up of Pierce, all in lowercase, P-E-A-R-S-E, plus a random four digit number. It is a random number so that other people in your class cannot guess that number. So for example, the, this particular user will have the password P-E-A-R-S-E 48 and 68. Then you will also have a Gmail login. It will be made up of your username login. So in this case, UAC 1516001, but as with all Gmails, you have to have uh, an ending that, and, that uh, ends with at something.ie. So in our case, it's UAC 1516001 at piercecollege.ie. 
you will still have the same password to log into your Pierce College Gmail, which is PEARC4868 in this particular student's case. Okay, so let us just recap here. You will need that username and login to log into any computer on the Pierce College network, to log into your Pierce College Moodle site, to log into your Pierce College Gmail, and to use the print and photocopy facilities in Pierce College. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this video, and it can be found on the Pierce College YouTube channel. Thank you.